In this video, I'll show how to copy a course in Newton Alta as well as copy a course in Canvas. You may wish to copy a course if you plan on using the same assignments and assessments in your course outline from one semester to the next. In Canvas, you may also wish to copy a course so you can maintain your module or folder organization as well as any assignment organization or assignment weighting. To start, let's copy a course in Newton Alta. First, you want to click into your original course. On the top right, click Settings, and we'll scroll down to the Copy This Course area. Click Copy Link here. I recommend going back to the home page, so click My Courses on the top left. In the browser URL, paste that URL, and then click Enter. In the next screen, we can adjust the course name for the new term, so I'll get rid of Copy Of. Put in Term 2. I'll select my institution. I'll choose the start and end date of the new term. And lastly, I'll choose the LMS at the bottom. And then click Copy. Now your course has been copied for the new term. Click Settings on the top right. And then scroll down to the LMS configuration area. There are two links that we will need to utilize. The first link here is the Course LTI link. Go ahead and click Copy Link. Now, let's go over to Canvas to copy the course there. In Canvas, you should go to your new term course. So in this example, we're going to Term 2. In your Term 2 Canvas course, at the bottom, click Settings. To the right, click Import Course Content. And here, we want to choose Copy a Canvas Course. So what we will do is we will copy the previous term's course content into this course. What you want to do is you want to search for your previous term or your previous course. So you can start typing in the keywords. And in this case, I am copying from term one to term two. So I'll click term one. I'm going to choose all content and what we want to do is adjust the events and due dates. If you had some dates before in term one, you would see those dates populate here. And then we want to make sure to choose the new dates. What this will do is that Canvas will try to move and adjust the dates based on this new time frame. It won't be perfect, but it will give a good estimate of when the new dates were based on the timing you had before. You also have the option to remove the dates from Canvas. The dates that are important are the ones in Newton Alta, since that is when the grades pass over into your Canvas gradebook. Once you shift the dates and choose the new dates, you can click Import. Under Current Jobs, you will see that it will start to run and then it will show when it's completed. Now, if I go to my assignments area, I will see that it brought over the Newton Alta assignments. Also in my previous course, I did do modules as well. And so it brought over those modules as well. I'm going to go back into assignments. And earlier, what we did is that we copied the course LTI link for term two. So we need to replace the link that's right here now because currently it is term one. So what I'm going to do is to the right of link the section to Newton Alta, I will click the three dots and edit. I will click more options. And like I said earlier, we grabbed the course LTI link for term two. And now we need to replace that in the term two Canvas course as well. I'll scroll down here and there is this URL under submission type. I want to completely remove it. I'm going to paste in that new one I grabbed from Newton Alta and then I will click save. Now what we need to do is click load link the section to connect the Canvas term two section to Newton Alta Term 2. I'll click Load Link the Section. I will click Create. Now you will see that the Canvas Term 2 section 
is linked to the Newton Alta Term 2 course. I'll go back to Canvas, click on Assignments, and there's one other link we will need to replace to make sure it's linked up to Term 2. If I go back to Newton Alta and come back to my LMS configuration section, you'll see there's a Review Center LTI link. I will copy this and go back to Canvas and I will find the assignment that says Review Center. It should be its own assignment group and own assignment. Even if you have this unpublished, I do recommend that you replace the link here as well. Click the three dots, click Edit, More Options. Once again, I will scroll down to the submission type area, completely remove that link that's currently there, and paste in the new one, and then click Save. Now the Canvas Term 2 course is connected to the Alta Term 2 course. What I do want to do is I want to test out the configuration. I'll go back to Assignments, and I'm going to test it out as an instructor first. To do that, I'll click on the first assignment. I'll click Launch a New Tab. And what I want to make sure here is that it's taking me to the reporting page of the Term 2 course. So the way I'll check that is that first off, I'll check the, the dates here and see if it seems appropriate to the new term, which it does. I can also just check the breadcrumb trail right here to see if it's linked up to the new term. I'll click Section and I see Term 2 there, so that looks good and I'll click Course, and once again, I also see Term 2. So it looks like it's linked up properly from the instructor view. I'm going to go back to Canvas, and now what I want to do is I want to check the student view. I'll click on Settings on the bottom left, Student View to the right, and this will take me to the student view. So either the students will access the assignments through the assignments area or through the modules based on your decision. As a student, I'll go ahead and click on the assignment. We can see that it is launching properly for the student. It is taking us to the assignment cover page for the new term coming up. And we can tell that based on the date right here. Now that we know it's launching properly for students as well, we'll click Leave Student View. The last couple things you will want to do as part of updating your new term course in Alta as well as in Canvas is to change those due dates. Earlier when we copied the course, we did shift the dates and it, Canvas did its best to figure out what those new dates should be. I recommend adjusting the due dates in the calendar. To access the calendar, click Home, and then click View Calendar here on the right. If you don't see View Calendar here, you can also adjust the dates via the calendar on the left-hand side. I'll click View Calendar, and what we did is that we shifted the dates to June. So I am going to click here in the calendar, and we can see our new dates listed. If you want to adjust your dates for your assignments, all you need to do is drag it and drop it in the calendar. If I want to adjust the date for this first assignment, I just drag it to the new date. If I want to adjust a due date for an assignment from one month into the next, what I need to do is on the top right, I can change the calendar to, for this one to be July, and then I can drag this assignment into the next month. Now, if I go to July in the big calendar, I will see the due date has changed for this assignment. You will also want to change the due dates within Newton Alta. Click into the Newton Alta tab to access the course. Currently we're in the course setting, so we'll go back to the course by clicking the arrow here. Then you'll click Manage next to your course outline. If you want to adjust the date for one assignment, just click the date choose the new date, and then click OK. If you want to adjust the due date for several assignments, on the left-hand side, 
check the boxes for the assignments you want to modify. You can either edit the start date or edit the end date. Choose your new date and then click OK. Then click Proceed. Once you have integrated your new term course in Alta to the new term course in Canvas and adjusted the due dates in Canvas as well as in Alta, you are all set. That is how you copy a course in Alta and in Canvas for the new term.